Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Duell and I'm a postdoc in the, uh, the University of Calgary in the Faculty of Nursing. And everybody that knows me knows that I'm extremely passionate about genomic education for nurses, um, as well as genomic informed nursing practice and research. So April 25th is National DNA Day when we celebrate um, the completion of the Human Genome Project, as well as the discovery of the DNA helix. I wanted to do a little um, activity with everyone in person, but of course, given our current circumstances, that's not possible. So I thought I'd make this little video and I'll post instructions and everything and people can follow along if they like. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna extract DNA from strawberries. So I'm gonna get my strawberries. I just have um, frozen strawberries here that you can use fresh as well. And you can use other fruit, you can use bananas as well. Um, strawberries just have quite a lot of DNA in their cells. So I'm going to take my strawberries and I try and get as much air as I can out of the bag. And then I'm going to make smash all the strawberries up. So you what you're wanting to do is bust open the cells. So you're getting the DNA into solution. So um, just smash them up as much as possible. And I already have my little pre smashed um, bag of strawberry mush here so all smashed up and then the next thing we're going to do is make a lysis solution so we have to get that dna out of those cells and um, so i've got about half a cup of water here i'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt <laughs> and also two teaspoons of soap so this is just some dawn um, detergent that i'm adding in and then I'm going to give that a good stir. And again, I've got one that I've already assembled and stirred all up. So now I'm going to add this lysis solution very carefully to my bag of strawberry mush. Um, and then what you wanna do is seal up the bag again. And then mix the lysate solution with the strawberry gunk, um, but not too vigorously because you don't want to have too many bubbles. You don't want it to be a big bubble bath. Okay, so next I have a little plastic cup with a piece of paper towel that I folded to kind of make a filter because there's still sort of chunks of strawberry in the bag that you don't want to you want to kind of filter out. You can use a coffee filter if you want, or a, a sort of a sieve. Um, so I'm going to pour the mixture through the filter here. See how much I have there. Maybe pour a little bit more. Okay, and then you can kind of pick up the. Squeeze gently so that you get that liquid into the cup. Okay, and then what we want to do is right now the DNA is in the in solution, so we want to precipitate the DNA out of solution, and for that we use some isopropyl alcohol, and this is chilled isopropyl alcohol um, that I have had in the freezer, and you want to pour in about an equal amount to um, the amount of strawberry solution that you had. And then you'll start to see the DNA. Um, you see kind of like the two phases of the solution here, and then we'll start to see the DNA come out into the top layer. So you'll see the white strands of DNA. And then you can use a toothpick um, or plastic tweezers or something, and you can kind of reach in and grab the DNA out once it, you start to see that DNA precipitate. And there you go. So that's DNA. And um, you can actually keep it if you want. You can put it in a sealed container in the fridge. Um, so yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I'm sending all my love 
to my uh, faculty of nursing family um, and I hope everyone stays well and safe and we'll see you again when we can see you. All right, thanks. Bye. Happy D-Day Day.